Well, January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and we've got a silent auction to talk about to help locally, and then we're going to talk about teen awareness trafficking, too, and dating awareness. So joining me today, she's Deputy Director of Crime and Victim Services. We've got Ren Farmer. And thanks for coming today, Thanks Ren. for having me. Okay, so this month of January, you guys try to raise awareness about, you know, human trafficking is still happening right here, right? It is, yes. So since 2012, we've served over 300 primary survivors of human trafficking in this area. So we work with a lot of different partners to make sure that survivors are connected to resources, whether that's transportation, housing, medical care, legal advocacy, all sorts of different things that we work to make sure that they provide as they heal through the trauma of what they've been through. Right, yeah, so much that they've been through. And mm -hmm. so, you know, you it takes money to support this kind of thing, right? So we have a fundraiser coming up, a silent auction, Yes, right? we do. It's our third annual silent auction. It will start February 3rd at midnight. So if you're staying up late Thursday night, you can get on, <laughs> uh, get on right at midnight. And then it will end on February 5th at 11.59 p.m. Okay, so what kind of things are on uh, in this auction? What we have a lot of it? different options. So we have trips to... To Michigan, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, all sorts of different places, golf trips, wine tastings, things like that, a glamping trip. Mm -hmm. We also have some uh, handmade art that people have donated. We have hand poured candles. We have gift cards to Lulu's and all sorts of different places. We have some stuff from Tom All, so Fun. some Ram swag oh, and okay. uh, free oil changes. So there is literally something for everyone. It sounds like it. All right. So this is one of those things. Keep checking back. You might bid on it, but you got to check back, right? Yes. So once you kind of sign up for the auction, it will let you know if someone has outbid you. Okay, and good. then you can get them back on and bid above them if mm -hmm. you want to. Right, exactly. The Northwest Ohio Rescue and Restore Coalition, they, they're the ones that sponsored this. And they're a part of, too, the efforts, right, to raise awareness and help out? Absolutely. So our coalition covers 16 counties in Northwest, West Central, and Southwest Ohio. And so it's made up of a lot of different organizations that work together to try to both prevent human trafficking from happening, but then also help survivors when it does. Right, exactly. All right, so this fundraiser is important. The funds it are going to go back into that and kind of all stuff. Of, yes, all of the funds raised will go right directly back to survivors to help with all of those needs that I talked about earlier. Wow, that's exciting stuff. I mean, it's, it's sad the situation, but you're getting them out of that and helping them along. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Okay, so February this week already. I know. <laughs> so we're going to talk about um, teen dating awareness. And some folks might think, well, what's the big deal about teens dating? But unfortunately, there's abusive situations at that young age, right? There are. So nationally speaking, about 1 in 12 teens experience some type of physical or sexual violence when they're in a teen relationship, dating relationship. And so we want to make sure we're raising awareness. Our prevention department at Crime Victim Services is in many of our schools in the area, so they talk about consent and boundaries and healthy relationships, and so this month they're really elevating some of that work that they're doing. That's awesome. All right, and there's little things that we can do along the way, like, for example, wear orange, right? Yes, so February 10th is Wear Orange Day, so wear your orange. If you want to do a selfie or do it with your family or friends or coworkers, you can post it on social media and then tag Crime Victim Services, and that way you can show support that you are aware that teen dating violence happens and that you want to show support for teens who are in that situation. Uh, speaking of that, showing support, I mean, are there signs that we could look at to know that, like, you know, our daughter or our niece or whatever, or whoever we know, that they might be in one of those abusive situations? So I know parents don't always like to do this, but monitoring cell phones is really important okay. because a lot of times you're seeing those things come through text messages or there's things that are happening online. What apps are they using? That's one of the biggest things. And then also just if they've started to isolate or maybe their grades have gotten poorer in school. Those are some other things that you can see happening sometimes when someone's in an abusive relationship. Wow, yeah. You always like to think things are going well, but you just never yeah. know, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. All right, and then another thing, you got cookies and consent coming up. Now, this this seems kind of a fun way to help support you guys. Yes, yeah, so we are selling cookie decorating kits. So you'll get a dozen free cookies, two piping bags with homemade buttercream frosting, and then some sprinkles. And you can pick those up if you register on our website. So if you go to crimevictimservices.org, and scroll down, there's two articles that says latest news. There's one about the silent auction and there's one about cookies and consent. So you can click on whatever one of those you want and there's a link to the auction and a QR code to cookies and consent. And so if you're interested in purchasing some cookies to decorate with your kids or friends, whatever you want, you can go there, order it, and then pick up is either in Lima if you are in Allen County or in Ottawa if you're in Putnam County. All right, and so proceeds just go back to the prevention programs for that? Yes, it helps all the work that we do in the schools with youth. All right, very good. Some important important stuff that you guys are doing. Thanks for coming today and Thank raising you so awareness. Much. All right, good, good to, to see you. All right, don't go away. It's time to look at the forecast next.